Okay, so let me stress this a whole lot. I may or may not be abrasive in this video. I apparently still got the shit-talking days in my veins from Halo 3 Xbox 360 lobbies. And it's not going away. Um, people this, these days are just fucking softy soy boys, pretty much. Um, and by no stretch of the imagination am I a bodybuilder. But, you know, I'm not at the point where words bother me. Just fair warning, you know. Don't go re words. Words, words hurt me. So if you can't handle that, um, please swiftly go find an off to fuck. Um, preferably the, the red X at the top right of your screen. Past that, this is clearly not a professional production. I am here to be one of the many voices that are criticizing this clown and his shit hot take and his poorly organized org. An org that clearly exists if it is controlled and handled by Morphologist himself solely for the purpose of people in said org to be able to play with YouTube famous person X or Y if there's somebody else in there. So regarding the professional production, I have better things to do than attempt to edit this to perfection. Lastly, Morph, dude, take your fucking L and stop beating a dead horse on being so wrong. Realize you're only having these issues because of your own team's lack of having their bases is covered. Um, I don't, I honestly don't hear too many people having issues with A2s, especially not the more PvP oriented orgs. So, it's kind of, kind of sad. So, in reference to Dark Souls, get good. Lastly, uh, I said lastly already, but uh, how this is going to be handled is I'm going to play his video and stop it where I can address something and address it as best as I can right off the top of my fucking head. I viewed this at work, and so I'm doing it now because I'm not a fucking work. Obviously, I don't I have all my shit here. So now let me speak on why I think the A2 needs to be rebalanced and how that might be accomplished. So one of the really big important things I want to get across with this discussion right away is that I am not talking about whether or not the A2 can be countered. In fact, it can be countered. No shit. One Inferno. One Eclipse. One Retaliator. Maybe even a hammerhead, even though it's a little bit overkill and probably would take longer than, honestly, the Inferno or the Eclipse or Retaliator would. And those three that I just mentioned take the same amount of pilots to completely eradicate the A2. It's not that hard to maybe rally your guys to be better, do better. But we'll probably see how spaced out they are in the future, which I, I you can't... You know, the fog of war. If you're getting dragged away and you're falling for it, then that's, it's the individual pilot's fault for not being pulled back in. Like, hey, you're getting led astray, come back. We'll cover that as it comes up, if I need to. That's not really what I'm debating. Initially, when I talked about this, I said the A2 is impossible to counter when it's suicide bombs, but... I hope you don't stick to the suicide bombing narrative because we all seen the footage. We all seen him tilt his nose up and use his bottom retro thrusters to attempt to get over the mountain. We all seen that. Hopefully you don't stick to that narrative you're trying to push. But even then, it is still possible to counter it, but that isn't really the point I was trying to make. So let's set that aside for a moment in order for you to clearly understand my argument. What I- What argument? Because even last time you didn't have one. The A2 is not that hard to deal with. You're just- your whole team's incompetent. I was trying to talk about with the A2 is that the effort required on the part of the A2 pilot to bomb is- 
You want to talk about effort while at the time you were bitching about getting bombed, you were sitting in a Centurion. And you really want to talk about effort. Not only that, whose fault was it to get in the Centurion instead of a Ballista? Go on. Think about it. I'll give you a couple seconds. And you want to talk about effort. You want to be borderline undetectable. And sit there and move your mouse around. And you want to talk about effort. While sitting in a Centurion. <laughs> okay, clown. Not proportional to the amount of effort required to counter the A2 on the other side at Jumptown. Middle mouse button. Look at him. Wait a little bit. Launch torpedo. I'd rather prefer the Ares Inferno because, you know, it's a lot more fun. But, you know, if you, uh, you're you really drastic for those quick results, you'll do that. Here's exactly what I mean. Look at this effort. Look at this extreme effort. So in order for you to bomb it. He's looking around. Oh, God. Riveting gameplay, man. Oh, man. This guy's fucking dude. He could take on Shadow Moses, Liberty Reapers. Oh my god. No wonder why he's so popular. Jump Town, all you require <laughs> is an A2 and your ability to fly and knowledge of how to arm. And a Centurion, all you need to do is have it delivered and then sit in it. And I know that's not the only vehicle you use before I get that, that bullshit retarded response. But... I can't handle the fact that he picked the wrong tools for the job and then is going to cry about it a little bit further. But I'm going to see if I can passively take in all of his teammates' locations. Jump town, all you require. And he's already apparently, I could be wrong in the top right of his screen. I could be wrong, but he's already got the A2's ping. There is an A2 and your ability to fly and knowledge of how to arm. I didn't study his clip. Okay, so... Three people up in the air, plus the f uh, three, maybe seven in the top left that might be friendly slash hostile, depending on whether they accidentally hit a friendly or not, but... And drop the bomb. And if you have a little bit of sense, you'll drop it at nearly point blank, not allowing anybody in the ground. So... Where was your guys' uh, cover for this? Do you have anything in place to potentially cover this basis? Anything at all? Because you don't even have a ballista. You got you got the Centurion there. Why can't you get a ballista there? To actually shoot the bomb before it hits. And if you really want to troll, all you have to do is drop the bomb as you run into the ground and... And we're going to watch his flight arc morph. And it's going to clearly go up. Admittedly, he failed, clearly. But it's there's going to be an attempt made. There's very little people can do to... See if we need to do this. Stop you. Well, honestly, yeah, let me, let me comment on that as well. You know, it's called... When the developers give us a bomb that drops at 200 meters a second, it's called you have to take advantage of the situation and deal with the hand that you're dealt. Maybe if the bomb didn't drop at a pathetic 200 meters a second or approximately that, I could be wrong on the data, this shit like this would be avoided if you absolutely want to be effective. But... Let's, let's watch this guy slowly try to get out of this. On the other side, there's a couple of... Yeah. If you're committing to a suicide run, who tilts their fucking nose up? Who does that in a suicide run? As if they're trying to pull out of it. Since I know that that's what angers you, is that, Oh God, he suicide run, he trolled me. Bud... It's, it's not like it's that fucking hard to go back over the footage and watch it again. 
since you clearly had to. I guarantee you, if that mountain wasn't there, he would have gotten off scot-free. That is if his own blast didn't catch him. But, keep, keep sticking to this narrative that, you know, oh, he definitely committed to the suicide. He tried to, but yet he tried to lift out of it. Things that you can do. In one scenario I talked about... And you didn't even lose anybody. All of this fucking drama, and you didn't even fucking lose anybody. You lost a C2 or an M2 and a Scorpius. Man, it's not like somebody else can go get one of those fucking C2s or M2s and bring it back. Or, even better yet, be smart about it and bring a better fucking loading vehicle than a fucking C2. Something that can get off the ground faster and is actually a little bit more reasonable to load drugs in. You know, like, hey, an MSR. I don't know if I said that already, but an MSR. A Cuddy Black. Cuddy Black's fucking even probably more amazing because it's VTOL thrusters. Bud? I can understand the C2 was there to offload your Centurion, but why did you pick a Centurion? Just why? Out with a one Avenger one who is a well known PvP in the community, what you could do is have. Yeah, fuck him. He's a cuck too, dude. He's the type of guy that could easily fucking handle an ion, but he wanted the fucking ion to be a limp dick. Granted, I'll admit, maybe the aim assist and the um, the uh, twenty missiles and the acceleration rate's a little absurd with the ion, but that's that's for something else, dude a scout looking for A2s approaching and then just run away with your group of two other friends and make your money that way. But in this scenario, you still require three skilled individuals. One person... I think I've heard this, uh, his quote earlier from lunch. Loading boxes is not that fucking hard. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, go over his two rules. But no, you do not need a skilled individual to load boxes. Teach him how to use a tractor beam. Okay, that's one roll taken care of. Easy. Being able to take the boxes out of the conveyor at Jumptown. I can't imagine how hard that is. And what oh yeah, flying a getaway ship. You mean like one of the very first few skills that you learn in Star Citizen? If you make it to Jumptown, I think you know how to fly. You you have no point here, dude. You flying once you get to get it to jump town once you're confident enough to even bother with jump town you should know how to retreat in a situation that is actually quite easy to escape from press space bar while holding boost and w and pitch your ship up problem fucking solved I'm pretty sure that 90, 90 plus percent of people playing this game know how to do that. Unskilled person able to fly a fighter to scout and make sure an A2 isn't approaching. And that's, that's three buttons morph. Tab to scan to potentially detect high signature targets up to like 50 or 40 kilometers away which is also why this whole situation is laughable. <clears throat> Warn them that if they see a box, like one of the little ping boxes, that say such a signal at such a distance, that there's potentiality of a bomber coming in, and then five and six to cycle through targets. It's, And then it falls back onto my claim that I made about you should know how to fly at this point if you're messing with jump down. Not that hard, bro. In this scenario, you can't have a new player because they just won't know how to do what they need to do in order for you to survive. Yeah, because a new player should be tackling Jump Town. They should be learning how to play the fucking game. Next point. However, if you want to actually be able to stop the A2 before it's able to drop a bomb point blank, which is... Eclipse, Retaliator, Inferno. 
Maybe even a Hammerhead. Maybe even a Constellation. With size fives. Redeemer. <laughs> Gotta dust off the old hands of how easy that fucking was. The worst case scenario, you're going to need a lot- Oh yeah, and a Ballista. Not a fucking Centurion. More DPS to stop it. So, what you might have is a number of ballistas. In order for you to have ballistas, there you, go. Though, you need to have a C2 or M2, or even- Which you clearly had. An A2 to be able to transfer the, your- So, I don't know what the issue is. You, you had one, you brought a Centurion, but you didn't bring a ballista. You failed. Your planning and organization failed. Why would you bring something with a- that literally my own personal self i tried the centurion out once for jump town and i got spit roasted on because i did it by myself right i drove like 30 kilometers in a centurion to get to jump town where there was only one dude and an avenger and i killed him with the one size three from the uh driver's seat he came back sat outside of my range and just lobbed missiles at me until my gun was useless and then i was like fuck it I'll admit it. I combat logged on him because he was being a little bitch. So, yeah. Uh, pick better tools next time, bud. Ballistas onto the ground. You'll also need scouts to be able to tell the ballistas where the A2 is coming from. Or the ballistas should have an IQ high enough to figure that out from themselves. Hey, you know, we can't exactly give you a compass reading. But there's an A2 in there. The reason why we can't give you a compass reading of where this is at is because we've all been in turret seats and the compass reading of the actual planet that it gives you on a ship heads-up display is different from the compass reading that you get on one of those, like, fucking uh, non-man's turrets. It's wherever the front of the vehicle is pointed towards, not the actual compass reading. Unless I miss something. You'll also want to have those scouts be in greater numbers because you need to be able to fan out around Jump Town to... to yeah, like my org does. Why can't yours? You probably have a lot of people that wouldn't mind taking up that role. I mean, just plan better, dude. Sounds like you kind of, you, you're right there. You're right there. You almost got it. Maybe it's, hey, maybe I, the only thing left I need to hear from you is, hey, the A2 is fine. I only see it during jump town. Maybe me and my entire team failed to do something basic and we lost nobody. We lost a C2 and a Scorpius in the process. Attacked whether or not it's coming from, you know, any different direction. And you only have, because keep in mind, you only have about 25 seconds to stop it before it gets to the point when it comes within radar range. And optimally, if somebody has an Eclipse or Retaliator, they're going to want to sit directly above Jump Town, ready to shoot a torpedo at an approaching A2. Because as I said earlier, shooting a torpedo behind the A2 isn't going to catch it in time before it actually bombs. Are you sure about that? I'm not going to sit here and uh, start bringing up the stats like I have them. But are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure that an A2 in atmosphere does probably fl fly maybe potentially below 500 meters a second. And I, if I remember correctly, torpedoes may travel at 600 to 700 meters a second. Could be wrong, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm right on this one. I'm simply just going to pro uh, propose the situation. So you need to be in front of it, which means that you need to be directly on top of Jump Town. But in order for you to do that, in order for you to be there, you're also going to need support because both the Retaliator and the Eclipse are fairly vulnerable by themselves. The Retaliator ha- Hold on, I gotta make sure I just heard him right. Did you fucking say the Retaliator, retaliator is- And the Eclipse are- The Retaliator has more fucking hull health than a Hammerhead. What are you talking about?
literally you can run and QT away from all the light fighters that everyone is using. The only thing you would have to worry about is an, uh, another enemy retaliator or eclipse. That is, if you don't flare or, you know, countermeasure their own torpedoes. The retaliator's not weak, dude. It's just, it's just not. ...are fairly vulnerable by themselves. The retaliator has no guns by itself, it can only shoot torpedoes, and the eclipse is fairly weak and pretty much the same deal, it only shoots torpedoes. It does have two size two ballistic guns by default, but those aren't gonna do anything. Because it's not meant to. It's meant to be a, a stealth bomber. Rolls, morph. Ships have rolls. Like the A2 is a heavy bomber. The Retaliator is also kind of a heavy bomber. Well, I don't know if I can give that designation to the A2. But, I mean, it does drop the fucking biggest bombs in the game. So, there's that. Before you get killed. In this particular scenario you're seeing on screen, we had a fully manned retaliator, which is the only reason why I was able to come in here by myself without any sort of fighter support, which enabled me to- That's pretty funny because, once again, you could have used your high health pool to zoom and boom. I, I get it. It's nice to not be shot at and followed when you got gunners. But shit happens, man. You can't always get everybody on the same space. It just, I, I understand. Shit happens. You can't always get everybody in the same exact location to, well, in a rapid manner to partake in being a gunner. But dude, the retaliator is fucking amazing. And it's survivability. Like, this is why I have the base version of the Retaliator. I know it's subject to change, but it's looking pretty good right now for its survivability and that alone. And let's not talk about getting fucking stuck in the pilot seat when you try to leave it. Kill a number of people, but I wouldn't have been able to do that without the support of my people. Yes, you would have. On the ship. I know. Just go, just fucking go back to talking about how pretty ships are, dude. Zoom and boom. All of this in order to counter an A2. Now I have also seen the argument floated counter to what I was talking about, that the only ship you need to counter the A2 is an Eclipse. But in this scenario- That and many more. You need a very expensive ship that not- And here we go. This is gonna be amusing because I remember this fucking bit. Everybody has. And so you're creating a sense of elitism A fucking sense of elitism, dude. Sorry, because we don't want fucking 18 million players running around with stealth bombers. You know, there's a particular reason why we want limitations on things, Morph. We There's a reason why. Now, I'm not defending the limited digital sales on anyone's part. The limited... You know, like the Idrises and the Krakens and all that shit. But we got to realize that if everybody could own an Idris, everybody would be trying to solo Idrises. Now, there's also a little bit of forced scarcity behind the ridiculous price point. As if you can't fucking earn it in game. Which, if I remember correctly... The Eclipse is only 3 million. That's like... I don't know. Maybe two solid days of grinding ERTs. Get a friend. Get a friend with a better ship and just do it. There's no fucking elitism here when you can earn your way to something. And... It's gonna be pretty funny when you hear the pay to win bet. In order for you to stop a specific ship... Kind of like that's the point, Murph. Morph, not Murph. Kind of like that's the fucking point, dude. You know, rock, paper, scissors. You know? 
It's kind of like when you go play Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 3, you know, infantry might sneak up on tank, blow tank up, but tank, if, you know, it was out in the middle of the field and infantry can't sneak up on it, tank guns down infantry. Helicopter beats tank. Fucking only AA, well, tank sometimes beats uh, the helicopter if it can get a shell off on it. Um, dude, it's a whole game of rock, paper, scissors. I'm not saying Star Citizen has to be like that, and I'm not implying that it fully is. But, dude, ships have their roles. Alright? Like, I don't know how much more I could simplify it. And I don't think that's a great way to balance the game. So you, uh, you're implying that, you know... An Aurora MR should be able to take out an M2. Is that what you're implying? Sounds to me like that's what you're implying. Such an amazing hot take right there, dude. <laughs> an A2 that already has one-third the health of a hammerhead. Well, you need a specific ship to kill it. How do you think it's going to be when fucking armor's implemented and the fucking retarded-ass Gladius rejects? can't fucking take down their AI hammerheads no more. When their fucking size threes can't even pin the armor of a hammerhead. What do you think is going to happen when armor's implemented? If it actually does. I mean, I gotta bring forth that possibility. What? what? But. Stick to talking about how pretty ships are. Please. If the only way for you to play to counter somebody who spent 700 plus dollars on a ship or earned it in game is to spend $300 or whatever it costs for the Eclipse, then that or earn it in game is not really great. It does. It is. I'm not trying to boost sales. That's why I keep trying to say earn it in game. Earn it in game. You can choose if you want to financially put more money into it. But that seems like it's your own fucking decision to make. It doesn't really help the argument that Star Citizen is not pay to win. I've been waiting for that statement. Buy a fucking Kraken and see how well you operate it by yourself. Buy an Idris and see how well that thing operates by itself. Buy a Hammerhead and see how well that thing operates with only one person aboard the ship. Go on. I know some of those aren't in the game yet, but go on. I want to see it work. I want to see you flying, managing the railgun, managing all, all the fucking turrets aboard that ship, managing the engineering, all the power management. I want to see how that works with one person, Morph. Instead... Of this actually being a pay to win game, it's just a pay to skip the grind and to pay to have utility. Because, once again, you can fly a hammerhead by yourself and then have only 32 shots as in terms of your missiles or more, depending on how you work your loadout. I haven't messed with it, so I wouldn't know. But,. Yes, you pay for ships. You can. You pay to skip the grind for them. It's not like you can't earn them, bud. You don't have an argument there. That very much looks pay to win to me. Cool. If only there was another way to get a hold of these ships in-game. If only. If only... There was some way where you didn't have to fork over actual cash to the developers. I'm not shilling for CIG. I'm not. There's a very specific reason. Once again, why I keep saying. Probably upwards of five times now. Earn it in game. I... 
Is there anything else basic you need to explain to you? Because honestly, this is kind of sad. And so, in my mind, and you can disagree with me here, which I'm sure many of you will, yeah. it should require a little bit more effort on the part of the A2 pilot in order for them to actually bomb jump town. That they would require... You mean the, the one ship that we hardly ever see, and this is the one time it gets used? Fire. Talking about effort from the guy that was sitting in a Centurion? Some support from either gunners on board the ship to... Okay. That's to counter fighters and shit. We all know that if you are in an A2 and you raid Jump Town and survive the bombing run, that if you don't have gunners, you're gonna probably be put down like a, a rabid bunny. Like, oh, look at the look at the fierce little bunny that can only attack the ground as, you know, various pilots start ganging up on it. We, we, we all know, yeah, that, that, I mean, I mean, what are you really suggesting here? Because that's already in place for people that want their A2s to survive. Having escorts, having gunners. What's, what's the fucking point unless it's an actual physical change to the ship and how it's played, handled, or a mechanic? What? <laughs> protect them as they come in or even a small wing of fighters to escort them in to make sure that they're not picked <laughs> off in order for them to balance this then in my view what needs to be done is that at least in the maybe i didn't hear him right maybe i didn't hear the beginning of what he opened up with but it, yeah i don't know maybe i might have misheard him short term that the range that the ship is able to drop the bomb should be increased in other words you should have to drop the bomb at a higher altitude. So how high are we talking to where it can be shot down? Probably a good 90% plus of the time that uh, people know that there's an A2 in the area. How high are we talking? Considering the fact of how slow it falls. Giving players a chance to shoot the bomb before it hits the ground. Once again, I would really like a... Uh, a uh, metric of uh, a rough estimate of how high it should be. Not. Additionally, the ship should have a maximum speed in my mind before it's able to drop the bomb. That way it can't fly at time. Why? What's the point? What actual intelligent limitation would restrict a bomb from dropping because you're going way too fast? That would have no actual effect on it deploying. Are we just trying to make more retarded bullshit fucking game nerfs like we did to the Ion? Or the, actually, or the Redeemer. Matter of fact, oh no, now you're going to... Top speed the, through okay, atmosphere, avoiding torpedoes, and avoiding any DPS that would put any dent in it before it's able to bomb its target. At least by itself. I don't think that the bombs need to be removed or even nerfed. I think it's really cool to have a really big fancy explosion. I only hope that the cost of doing something like this is more than just monetary, that it requires a lot more skill and effort on the part of the bomber in order for them to do it because the consequences of it are so great and so imbalanced. You lost a C2 and a Scorpius. I, I know I keep bringing up the same shit, dude, but... Dude, you didn't even lose that much. You didn't even lose a player, from what I could tell. That it just doesn't seem fair to everybody else at the moment. So when are we going to nerf ballistas then? The undetectable fucking uh, missile slinger. And no, I actually don't believe ballistas should be nerfed. Me and my org handle ballistas quite easily depending on the circumstances. But once again, dude, you're in a Centurion. You picked bad. You brought the wrong tools. But hey, maybe none of this conversation even really matters because they're probably going to be changing the flight model pretty soon with all this talk of quantum boost. It does sound. Now, 
you kind of got a point there that it might be changing flight model, but then why the fuck are you doubling down on this whole debacle to where you made a whole video on it? Why? Why? What, what's the fucking point if you genuinely believe that? like they're going to be bringing maximum speeds down to SCM level and so at that kind of speed it probably will balance the ship anyway but what do you guys think I'm sure some of you guys are still not going to all right I was a little bit uh, apparently I was a lot less wordy with my shit talking than I thought I was going to be but honestly that's pretty good for me <laughs> I don't care if you think otherwise so morph Know that you, I understand that you're allowed to have opinions, dude, but boy, boy, oh boy, dude, it's pretty funny when you've got people that might be, keyword might be, well, key phrase, in light fighters thinking that they would be able to deal with an A2. Those three guys that were chasing the A2 down. They they were probably more than likely in light fighters. I could be wrong. I don't care to go whack and watch it. If somebody wants to correct me, I'm more than open to being corrected on what they were flying. Even then, it didn't matter because they still got bombed. They still got pissed off. Well, more still got pissed off. I don't know about anybody else getting pissed off. But, um... Biden... Just work better with your org, plan better, get more people because honestly, you do need people to cover Jump Town. You need people to secure Jump Town. I don't know if all you had was maybe around 15 people or less. I can probably approximate that from all the little blue uh, chevrons on the screen that were friendly, as well as the party markers. If you want to take Jump Town as seriously as you did, enough to get mad, you need to do better. Plan better. It's, it's not that fucking hard, dude. It's really not. Um... <clears throat> I don't know, man. I can't think of anything else. It's nobody has this amount of issues with the A2. And if you do, then you're either undermanned or just incompetent. My org doesn't have issues with A2. A2s. I'm pretty sure the other top PvP orgs that are not us. I'm not implying we are. But I'm pretty sure they don't have issues with A2s. That is if even they worry about having a ground team like we do. But. <sighs> yeah, bud. Let's sit in a Centurion and talk about effort. And then talk about, you know, how it needs to be nerfed. Just because you were unprepared and picked the wrong tools. Past that, I don't know how I managed to turn a five-minute clip into 40 minutes, but I fucking did. Then again, there was extra time here. But, honestly, I don't know if I should do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. If you've stuck with me this far, hands down, I'm probably going to start doing something else with the Star Citizen community. And in... It's also going to regard other fucking hot takes in the forums. Because. Let me pull this up on my side monitor. Because regarding one particular post that I specifically read about supposedly elevators being quote unquote. Somehow too fucking fast. I have gotten. Hold on. Let me uh. Let me format this in a way that's beneficial and... <gasps>
go over here, crop it real quick to cut out any irrelevant information. And let's see here, let's do this. And as a coming, blah, blah, blah. Culminating result of your moderation history of re extended with your final notification, blah, blah, blah. Due to uh, them policing people like me calling other people fucking stupid as they are, I'm probably going to start doing videos on my own personal YouTube channel about hot takes such as, Wow, CIG, the elevators are too fucking fast. I'm sorry, excuse the fuck out of me, you like riding the elevators so much? Well, how about you ride them back to the fucking lobby again and then ride them back to your hangar as much as you want there, Buttercup. Because you fucking eat crowns up the butthole for fun. Who thinks that the elevators are too fast? I don't even care if it's trolling. That's a bad troll. But, yeah. If I, uh... If I speak no-no words one more time on the forums, I'm going to get banned. So I might start doing own personal videos saying, hey, look at this dumbass. <laughs> All right, bye.